A year and a half ago, our life turned upside down. Our little boy accidentally swallowed a button battery that came from the remote control to our DVD player. I think the scariest moment was once the surgeon came out and said that he's in extreme critical condition and they weren't sure if he was going to survive. It was one of those feelings that as a parent, we just felt helpless and also the guilt that kind of fit in. How did we not have control of this and how did we not know about this? Something so harmful in our home. I never thought twice about my kids playing with remotes. They just liked the buttons on it, you know? And honestly, I didn't even know that it used a button battery to control it. But sure enough, you figured out how to get off the back, which wasn't very difficult, and was curious and swallowed it. We found out the severity of it. It wasn't just a, a little scratch or a bump or a bruise that you can give your kid a hug and a kiss and move on. The battery physically burned through the esophagus into the trachea. They actually removed two inches of the esophagus. We realized that this was going to be a long-term effect, that it could be years. And now we're a year and a half later and we still don't know when the end is. It could be years more. He will have digestive and eating issues probably the rest of his life. Both vocal cords are paralyzed, which puts him at high risk for um, lung infections and being able to speak. But he really has a fighting spirit to want to survive and be a functioning little boy. One way we've been able to survive and to, to really thrive in this experience is to be able to share our message with other people. When Energizer contacted us, um, I have to say I was thrilled. Working together and getting the facts and information and research that Energizer and Safe Kids have done has helped us out tremendously. Read Emmett's story and then go check out Battery Control. You're going to get all the facts and information that you need to back up you know, our support in our campaign. Share. Share the story. Share this link. It's not hard to share it on your page and ask your friends to share it because you never know when it will save another child's life. Eight months in the pediatric ICU, several collapsed lungs, hundreds of x-rays. 30 surgeries later, Emmett is here today. And this is why we are telling his story.